I know what you guys are thinking. Two product reviews day after day, what's up with the vlog? But today is actually a pretty exciting day because I just started my morning, like a lot of mornings, checking out designer news and I saw that Figma is out today and you can sign up and try it. So if you haven't heard about Figma yet, it had a lot of buzz in the media. It was started by a few young guys and it's kind of, they're trying to revolutionize the design software, trying to overtake Sketch and Photoshop and kind of create uh, an online software, kind of like Google Docs, where you can design, kind of like Sketch, but you can also do it collaboratively, like few people can be on the same doc at the same time designing and all the other stuff that you can do in you know software like sketch or photoshop do the design they've also created a pretty cool feature where i'll, I'll show you which they call a uh, path network or vector networks or something like that which is pretty awesome and i've been spending some time playing with it right now and it's pretty cool let me show you Basically, they've they've created. Everybody can sign up for free by the uh, until the end of 2016. It's free for everybody, so that's a cool thing. And it's pretty much like Sketch. I think they took a lot of inspiration uh, from how this worked from Sketch, and they've even created uh, a file here with lots of artboards and kind of tutorial to show you how that works. Um, it's built in with the Google fonts, but you can bring in any font you want. Um, here's the vector network, so you can really create, let me show you, um, cool, really easily create shapes. So if you create a rectangular, you can then, you know, immediately make it even a more complex vector and then, I don't know, color it. Stuff that's basically not possible with the regular pen tool. So that's pretty cool. Um, overall, it's exactly, I would say it's exactly like Sketch. They've even done uh, something pretty nicely with constraints, um, which allows you to kind of define the constraints so that later on, if you change the, the size of your artboard from iPhone 6 to iPhone 4, for example, the design will automatically change with the constraints because they've kind of, you've defined how the spacing works. So that's pretty cool. Overall, I think this is a wonderful version one and they did a great job. You know, earlier this year we saw Adobe release the experience design software and that was a beta that wasn't really baked enough. It didn't have enough features for people, at least for me, to actually move over to that software and actually use it. But this one, this is already super robust and I can see myself if I need to completely start working with that. Now, I don't think that I'm gonna be moving into the software and I'm gonna say it for two reasons. The first one, which is actually critical, it takes too long to load. Uh, you can actually import sketch files into that, which is super awesome, but when you load them, it takes a while. And in general, the software, because it's built into your browser and everything is happening online, it takes a while and it's much slower than sketch. And since for me, speed and productivity is a major issue, I'm not gonna change my workflow right now. Now let's talk about the real issue. This software was built under the, the, the whole concept of collaboration, of designing stuff together. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure that this idea is a great idea. I mean, I know there's a lot of design teams working together on the same project, but basically, and what they show in the demo that you can work on the same file and two guys are moving stuff in the same time, I don't think this is the right way to design. I mean, I think it's, I don't wanna to say too many things on the dance floor, but when there's just too many people working at the same time, and I think design is something that should be, you know, thought out and then presented, maybe iterated, maybe two people can bring a uh, few versions, maybe people can brainstorm it, but actually having three people holding the pencil and trying to push in either direction at the same time, I'm not sure this is such a great idea. But what I am excited about is that new people are entering the design software world. They got a lot of venture capital funding them, so it's going to bring a lot of innovation into our space. And I'm excited about that, that people are trying to build robust tools, new tools, innovative tools to make our work better. So I'm super excited and great job, you guys, uh, building Figma. I think it's it's a great process, even though I'm not gonna be working with it next week, but I think I'm really excited to see uh, how this is, this is working out. I am on my way to lunch with a friend who is 
opening up a co-working space for designers, for creatives, and we're trying to think if we can do something together with the new school, whether we can sit there or have kind of some kind of an interesting partnership. So heading there for lunch and let's see what happens with this. That was a great lunch. It's always such a pleasure to see talented women entrepreneurs starting something really awesome. One of them is a designer and one of them is an architect. And so as I told you, they're opening this shared co-working space for creative people. And it's probably not gonna be right for me. I'm, I'm not the type to work from an open space. I really need my privacy. Anyway, I don't think vlogging works well in an open space but it is awesome for a lot of other people who look to collaborate with you know, photographers, architects, and do projects together. So I'm gonna try to help them to market it and perhaps create a video for it or think what's gonna be the most successful way to market it. So I'm back home working and I just had to share this with you. I just saw this YouTuber uh, of this guy free running parkour superstar and he's traveling in Israel right now so you, I'll link his uh, YouTube channel in the description you have to check it out he's super awesome and you can see great views of Israel so check it out all right so this is another day over it's been a productive day but it's been client work that I can share with you guys Anyway, it's the end of the week and I'm actually not sure about next week because it's holiday here, New Year's, the Hebrew New Year in Israel and I'm not sure when I'm going to be working so I'm not sure about the vlogging schedule next week. So I will see you sometime next week hopefully. Hope you guys have a great weekend. I will catch you next week.